fire impacts a lot of components of the whole earth system. It obviously affects humans, it affects the land surface, water, the air. Fires are this important factor in meteorology. They create extreme weather, they affect the clouds and precipitation. Fires connect everything to everything. My father was a fireman. The earliest pictures of me are tromping around the house in his fire boots and playing with my fire truck, so maybe it was destiny. I've been studying fires for about 20 years now. Wildland fire has a very big cost on the United States economy. On a big wildland fire year, the United States might spend $2 billion suppressing wildland fires. But the costs don't stop there. Millions of dollars are spent rehabilitating landscapes to prevent flooding and mudslides. Other costs are impact on local recreation, wildlife habitats, and other restoration of the ecosystem. Fires affect air quality because as they consume the fuel, they release a lot of particles and gases into the atmosphere, which we see as smoke. Some of these gases are greenhouse gases, which contribute to warming of the Earth's system. The fire produces a lot of interesting phenomena. One of them is the pyrocumulus, which is the cloud that forms over a fire. Because as the fire releases heat and water vapor, it creates a plume that rises in the atmosphere. And as the air cools, it reaches saturation, and the cloud produces cloud particles, hail, and sometimes lightning. For the last decade, I've been collaborating with the University of Wyoming to develop a wildland fire prediction system. This integrates data, models, and supercomputing to predict where a fire will go, where it will grow, and what sort of extreme behavior it will produce. The type of data that goes into the model are the terrain over which the fire is traveling, the fuel that's laying on the landscape, what type it is, how moist it is, and weather variables such as wind speed, temperature, pressure, density. In addition to the modeling studies, we often go out into the field with an infrared imager on the outside of an aircraft as we fly over wildfires in the western United States. What we're looking at is the heat released by the fire as it climbs up a hillside towards the upper right. The fire shoots out a finger of flame, like a flamethrower igniting a stretch of ground ahead of the fire. We calculated from our analysis that it was traveling about 100 miles per hour. The big columns that go up in the middle are a picture of the fire plume. It shows the heat released by the fire. By looking at how the heat from the fire changes over time, we can infer what the wind speeds are within the fire. We use the supercomputers to ensure we can run our models faster than real time. These models are very complicated. They involve a weather model that's tied to a fire model. When these two are connected, you can predict where the fire is going to go, how it modifies the weather, and how that feeds back on the fire behavior. <laughs>